Mr. Seller. Action. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> oh, it's actually the commission. Sorry. <laughs> This is the potential coming. Very good. Mm -hmm. So you know, may I play um, a dialogue for you? Yeah. It's very, very good one. So welcome to uh, our role playing. So first, we're gonna have a dialogue between the seller and the listing agent. So I just wanna listen, listen to uh, a credit uh, from a book that I've read recently. I just want you to hear it. Oh, at giftofshift.com. Let's begin. Mr. and Mrs. Seller. Just because a house is on the market doesn't mean it's in the market. In every market, there are actually two markets. There are properties that are priced well enough and in good enough condition to attract interested buyers. Those homes attract offers and sell. Then there are homes that are overpriced or are in less than ideal condition that don't attract buyers and just sit on the market. So if you look at this graph, figure 35, you can see that some houses are in the market and some are out of the market. Does that make sense? Sure, I've seen the same thing on eBay. People who auction good stuff with a fair reserve price attract a lot of bidding. Uh, others try to pawn something off with an unrealistic reserve and they don't get any bids at all. Great. That's the point. Buyers have a sense of what's a fair value and what's not. Mm -hmm. And they just won't show up if you're not in the ballpark. Now, when we were in a seller's market, we saw a lot of multiple offers and it wasn't so much whether a home would sell. It was a question of how long it would take and how much it would sell for. As you can see in this graph, figure 36, almost all the homes were in the market. I understand. What does that mean to me today? Well, in a buyer's market, like we're in today, show figure 37, many homes aren't really in the market at all. There is a lot of inventory, but there aren't as many buyers. The buyers who are looking expect a great value, a good home at a good price. And with all the competition for their attention, they have a lot of choices. They start to be really picky. I guess that's why it's called a buyer's market, right? Yes, that's why it's very important for us to get your home in the best condition possible, and then to price it correctly and competitively. Buyers are looking for value pricing, and if we don't meet those expectations, we'll look overpriced and be overlooked. Figure 38 illustrates that the market of homes that are actually selling is small and competitive. And if we don't get in the market, we risk ending up out of the market with no showings and no offers. Or worse, in no man's land, where we get enough interest to think we might be in the market, but no offers. We need to price ahead of the market. Let's make the market instead of chasing it. As your agent, I can't change the market conditions. But it is my job to show you how to get your house sold in the existing market conditions. I'm pretty sure I get it. It just makes me wish we'd decided to sell earlier. The truth is that this actually may be a good time to sell, and even a solid financial opportunity for your family. Yes, we may not be able to price the home as high as we could have last year, but if you don't sell now, you'll be selling for even less next year. So how do we do that? I've prepared some research on the prices of other homes available in this area and neighborhoods like it as well as some numbers that reflect what is and isn't selling. Or to put it another way, what is and isn't in the market. I previewed a lot of those homes, and we can decide together how best to price your house to sell. The tale of two markets is a simple, proven way to engage your sellers in the realities of effective pricing and staging, discussed in tactic number eight, stand out from competition. Remember, it's not about you, it's about the market. The current state of the market is the determining factor for pricing. You don't make the market. You simply show them how to get their home sold in the market. You are actually bringing them the... So our goal is show them. This is in the shift book, chapter four, the fourth hour. So you just fast forward. That's the script and the dialogue when you have a listing presentation with a potential seller. Because Vancouver market, especially in the luxury detached home market, we are well into the buyer's market. If we don't educate our seller to how to price their home ahead of the shift, we will just be not sold. So we have to educate the client to how to get their home sold if that is what they want. We have to find the motivation of the seller. If the seller is not motivated, then you know not much we can do. You know, we just hold on to the listing. But if they really want to sell, we have to educate them what is happening in the market. It's not about the market, but it's about what we do and how to help our clients achieve their real estate goal. In the listing presentation, we have to educate them how to price their home ahead of the shift because 
you know, with all the uh, economic indicators from uh, recent news announced, uh, all the new taxes, we're not going to be seeing uh, an increase in the market price for sale price. We will only see an adjusted price, flat market, and then going downward. If we don't price ahead, we just keep having overpriced uh, listings, then they will not be sold. I'm Melissa Wu from Maxell West Coast Realty. See ya guys. Mahalo. <laughs>